I'm here with Emily Thompson, and Emily, you have brought kind of a twofer for us. You said we can either make a very permanent banner yep. using fabric or something that's more temporary out of paper, just depending on how long you're planning to keep it. That's right. We're going to make a happy birthday banner and kind of two different ways. So we're going to use our electronic cutting machine to cut the text, and you can either cut it with heat transfer vinyl and put it on fabric, or you can cut it with just sticky vinyl and put it on paper. Both look great. It just kind of depends on how long you want to keep well, it around. So what cycle of life you're in. Right. You know what I mean? If it's exactly. like happy eighth birthday, then that's probably temporary. If yes. it's like, I love you, that's permanent. Yes. So I love this roll feeder because you can cut up to six feet long designs. And so it just makes it, I want to cut big letters. And so I don't want to have to keep changing and feeding in new vinyl. So I just want to cut it once, be done, and then peel off my letters and, and put it on Lazy my project. Lazy crafting, I'm all about yeah, it. That's right. So we're going to go ahead and push start and let this cut while we show you a couple other things. Cool. So that's going to get going, and I know you've already done your test cuts yep. to make sure that the blade was set, everything's good to go. Yep. So what do we do next? Right. So we have our paper bunting here, mm -hmm. and I'm going to cut a couple more fabric buntings. And of um, course, you're cutting this with scissors, but you could use your electronic cutter if you wanted. That's right. It's just whatever works for you. Whatever works for you. And I just drew up this really easy um, bunting template. You could, you know, do whatever shape you wanted, circles, squares. You know, the possibilities Scallops, are really circles, endless. princess yes. shapes. Yes. I've even seen people do banners that have like silhouettes of people's heads. I mean, yes. crazy stuff, depending how involved you want to get. That's right. So I, I just was keeping it pretty simple and wanting to just make this basic shape. And I kind of like the blue and yellow together. So I have a few things. So and I want to say this is not yep. a regular fabric. And I can tell that because it's not raveling at the edges. So did you treat the fabric in some way? This is actually wax canvas. And okay. I thought it'd be perfect for this project for a couple of reasons. One, you can see how it's just kind of stiff and it hangs yes. really nicely. You cut more than one at a time. I, I did cut two, yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was uh, getting more done at one time. <laughs> <laughs> so I like how it's stiff. I also like, because it is wax, like you said, I don't have to finish the edges. So even though it's fabric, it can just lay like this. It can save from year to year and the edges are not gonna get all weird. Super so cool. So it's, yeah, that's a really easy thing to do. And then I'm gonna show you how to iron on. So this is a letter that I pre-cut ahead of time. And I am just placing this now that's like cut the other ones. out of heat transfer vinyl, that's which right. is a kind of vinyl. So all vinyl is three layers, right? Yes. It's yes. usually some kind of color, some kind of adhesive. Yes. And that this one has a transfer sheet on yes. it. Yes. So this is heat transfer vinyl. So we need to apply heat to transfer it to the wax. And I, I see that you're using like a piece of paper as a, basically, I assume, uh, some kind of protection. Right, so I've made this mistake before, ironing wax, or ironing wax with my home iron. The next day, my husband goes to iron a dress shirt. Oh no! And he got wax on it. So I, when I was creating this project, I was very careful to use a barrier between, because this is wax canvas, and it will kind of leave a waxy mess. This is parchment paper. At home, I actually just used a little tea towel that I didn't care if it got wax in it. Okay. So you can use that as long as you don't really care that wax may be getting in. So you want to make sure that it's fully applied and I can tell it's not quite hot enough. So I just need to go back and leave this. So while you're ironing that again, yep. the cutter's done. Yes, let's so take a look. I'm just going to go ahead and grab the cutter off the bottom here and trim it. So let me get the trimmer placed on here and then just slide that across to get my clean cut. Save the rest of that roll of vinyl for later. And then I'm gonna eject this for you and we'll grab it. Let's take a look at one of our letters. Cool. See if we can stick it on the paper. I was gonna say, uh, let's weed away. So people who aren't familiar with weeding, when you use craft vinyl, which is what this is, that yep. has an adhesive back, you take away all the stuff that you don't want. That's so this right. should reveal, oh, crafting with a friend is the best. Extra <laughs> hands. Extra hands. That's awesome. <laughs> And look, oh my gosh, this just like keeps going and going. So we obviously have a few negatives to pull away, but you can mm -hmm. see um, how cool it really looks. So it why is. don't you go ahead and weed the bee, and then okay. we'll be able to stick that right on our paper. Perfect. There it is. Now you can obviously use transfer paper yes. and I to do it, but you don't need this, to no. with these letters because they're so blocky. Because yep. this actually becomes a big sticker. sticker. If you were going to move the whole birthday yes. over, I would definitely use transfer tape for that. So I don't want to put this in the okay. wrong. Place. <laughs> well, I don't know if I'm going to be super specific, but 
I basically am just trying to center it and then smooth super it. Super cool. Like and a big sticker. That's super cool. And when it's a craft vinyl like this, you could even use it on like a window or something if you did it Definitely. in reverse because yep. it's going to come off. Yep. It's going to come off and it's not permanent. So you're not stuck with anything that you don't want. So we finished this one and now we just have to remove the clear transfer sheet there. Cover. Oh, it looks so good. And so we have this one. So I thought we would create mm -hmm. the happy by hot gluing the letters onto this ribbon. Okay. And again, I assume you're using an aggressive glue like hot glue because waxed canvas is going to require an aggressive adhesive. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't think unless you use super glue or something pretty strong that it would really work. So we might see a little bit through, but I okay. think that will dry. You can also glue stitch it, yes. I will say. Yes. You especially could, with a nice grogan ribbon like this that's so thick, you would have an easy time going through your sewing machine. And you could easily just run a basic stitch through there. It would not or take you know, very a, long. A super cheat is just put some rickrack or some decorative yes. lace or something over Another. the front, and then you'd never see anything yep. underneath. Yep or even another layer of ribbon if you wanted to sandwich it. Or you, you could do bias tape, even yeah. make your own bias yeah. tape. Yeah, a lot of possibilities for how you're hanging this or what you're decorating it on. You I'm know what I like too simple. is that like you used one blue here and one blue here, but you didn't feel it necessary to like perfectly match the blues. <laughs> no. When I, I mean, I'm not the perfect party planner go all out. So if, if I'm even getting this done for my kids, this is probably pretty impressive. So let's cut this off and then we can hold it up and take a look at our birthday take sign. Take a look at our cool birthday banner. Now something like this, because it's made out of fabric, right? I mean, and especially that waxed um, canvas, it's going to last a super long time, right? This, I mean, you could bring yeah. this out for every birthday. Yep. Yeah, I, when I have buntings like this, I usually just fold them like this mm -hmm. to store and then you can unfold it and yeah, rehang. Could so, you use this outside? Like, is this semi weatherproof because it's waxed? I do think it is water resistant. It's not going to last like, if you left put it, it out. No, I would, and I wouldn't <laughs> leave it out permanently. Right. But if it got a little wet, it's it's not going to ruin the fabric. So awesome. yeah, there's lots of possibilities to That's use it for. That's super cool. And obviously, if you do um, anything patterned as opposed to like plain, it would be a little harder to read. Yes. I know that it's yes. tempting. I'm tempted <laughs> yes. all the time yes. to use pattern instead. Yes. And of course, you could use somebody's name and all that kind of stuff. Yep. Now, can you use the other side of this? Or because we've weeded it away, it's just garbage and you can't, like the negative. Of the vinyl? Yeah. Um, you can use some of the pieces. Sometimes I'll try to save like any extras that there are, but usually it's not worth saving just the tiny scraps. So, Very cool. Um, but yeah, you could make this happy birthday bunting and then create a set of numbers as well. And so for each year, if you had kids, oh. you could just put the happy birthday and then have a number that you could hang next to it and still would be a reusable idea. That's so great because you could make it right at the beginning of yep. when they're born. This would be a wonderful gift actually it would to be give a great new parents gift. Yes. so that every year they could just trot out happy yep. first, happy second, yep. happy third. I love and that idea. And the pictures idea, would be I'm great, like, right? Having yeah. the same thing behind oh each year. Oh my gosh, the consistency of yes. it. That's so awesome. Emily, this is such a great project for all sorts of stages of life. Thank you. You're welcome.